Hi, Fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Obliterate the subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently boop the notification bell. And of course, when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com, where you can buy all the guppies and plecos you see in my fish room, and uh, a shirt and stuff. So, guys, today I want to talk about hot rotting a china filter. Why? Well, I did the review on the china filter and pump. And I have a couple different China filters in the uh, in the fish room. By the way, if the term China filter bothers you, I don't really give a damn. You could just stop watching right now. You could leave me a snide comment or a thumbs down. It doesn't really bother me. Because I'm not politically correct. I don't really care. All right. So today we're going to talk about this filter. This is the... Oof. Hujukan sponge filter up to 60 gallons I don't know if I'd put it in a 60 gallon tank alone maybe a lightly stocked 60 gallon tank but first let's take a look at the filter this is one that I've talked about before but uh, I haven't actually showed you so it comes with these two cups suction cups inside there I'll put links in the description below for everything I talk about and use today in the video. If you decide to click on the link and buy it at Amazon, I make a penny or two. It's nice, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, so these come off, obviously the sponges, and then these come off. So you can use this with the cup or without the cup, but let me show you with the cup. Hope I didn't break it. It doesn't come with any media, uh, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you what I would use or what you could use. These cups aren't very big, but they do hold some media, so. Suction cups. That's interesting. The up tube was like cockeyed, crookeder than a cat's ass, if you will. So boom, there's your filter. This is how it comes standard, and you could shove whatever you want in there. I'm gonna give you a couple ideas uh, for this. So the first thing that I would do to hot rod this is I would get rid of these little sponges. And the reason is, as I've talked about in other videos, these holes are very small, so they might polish the water from little fine particles, but they're not gonna get the big stuff. And I like to take care of the big stuff first. So I'm gonna use an AquaClear uh, 50 foam. For do-it-yourselves out there, the AquaClear foam is one of the cheapest and most effective uh, things to use. Now this one comes with three, I'm only gonna use two. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut a small hole in this and put it on like that. And uh, I'm gonna show you that, show you how easy it is. Now you don't wanna make the hole too big. I just use scissors and you just start cutting. And you start cutting down and down and down. And you wanna go almost all the way through, but not all the way through. Let's see if I got far enough. Maybe I didn't make it big enough. Nope. Not big enough. So we gotta go bigger. Not a problem. That's what scissors are for. Be careful with scissors. You don't wanna cut yourself. That would really suck. All right, folks. Put it down. All the way down, if it will go. Now, this filter is much more coarse. So, um, this will collect more big stuff. I dropped the up tube. Eh, got it. All right, I'm gonna cut the other one and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in the little container. Stand by. Fast motion, how's that? Fast motion of cool music. All right, didn't 
didn't take too long. Boom, finished. Now, let's talk about these cups. I can see people breaking these cups easily by trying to take this off without pulling it off the base itself. It just seems like you need to pull it off to get a better hold of it so you can pull it off. Now, you could just put two things in here. You could put filter floss, which as the water passes through, the clean water passes through here, any smaller particles will get trapped by the filter floss and clean water will come out and that will help polish your water. In addition, the floss actually, as well as the sponge, actually acts as beneficial bacteria as well because uh, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies for the little BB to hang out and chill and multiply and boom, chicka, boom, boom, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. I hope you know what I'm saying. Anywho, uh, so you could put floss or my favorite sheet filter media, Lava Rock. Now, Lava Rock usually comes in a little bit bigger size. I picked some pebbles from my stash of Lava Rock. And if you have to break it, you could just hit it with a hammer. BFH. If you're a technician, you know what a BFH is. It's a big friendly hammer. Friendly? Not friendly. Thank you, Sump Pump. Now we gotta we gotta put enough in here. There we go. To make it worthwhile. Now you could put more stuff in here, uh, different stuff, whatever you want. In fact, if I was prepared, I'd have the other media from the uh, aqua clear filter I did. A couple of you guys said that the aqua clear filter is great, but the new Seachem title is so much better. So I'm probably going to be getting one of those and doing a review and seeing if it changes my mind. You never know. It's a thing in this hobby. Things change, and maybe since I haven't used it, I don't know how awesome it is. Maybe it's spectacular. Maybe I heard it was noisy. Maybe it's a piece of crap. I don't know. So the trick to this little cup is you want to make sure the, the water's going to flow through the top and then through this little hole in the bottom. So you want to make sure the water can flow. So you don't really want to block the hole, but as long as the water can go around it, you're fine. All right, that's it for now. Clearly I'm missing something. I don't know what happened to it. Seriously. Oh. Hashtag dumbass. It's right here. Boom. Now we have extra biological in here. Extra mechanical plus biological in here. And uh, we're going to go set it up. Now this one, um, this one, the airline you run through this little through the little hole down to the little doohickey. So we're gonna find a tank to put this in. Probably a Pleco tank, because Pleco tanks always need more uh, mechanical filtration. And uh, we'll go from there. Guys, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and get a snack and a beverage. I'm gonna set the camera up facing a tank, pick a tank, install the filter, and then we'll uh, show it to you and we'll talk about it. I, I, do me a favor. All right, fishy folks, here is a breeding tank of albino bristlenose. These guys are pretty much full grown. You can see I have that little um, box filter in there. It's full of poop. I'm going to use that airline. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this tank is a little cloudy because uh, I riled up the fish as I moved around and pointed the camera. They get a little skittish. There's actually an extra sponge filter back there that's not hooked up that's just sucking up beneficial bacteria and then a homemade sponge filter in the back uh that looks like it's kind of come off its base so not really a big deal all right stand by all right i'm gonna take the filter out so with these sponge filters you want to you want to take them out and put them in a bucket so that you don't spill stuff everywhere uh, when I say stuff, I literally mean poop and stuff. Because uh, that makes a mess, and nobody wants that. All right, then we're going to thread the needle. Put the airline through that little hole. 
get it onto the nipple and put it in the water. Okay, first thing I don't like is the suction cups are kind of weird. I gotta get a better, better handle on this. I'm walking around over here. Stand by. So I'm looking at the back of the tank, trying to put this up tube back in while you guys sit there laughing at me, eating a beverage and snack. Oh, I got it. Second try, not bad. All right, fishy folks, that is our, make sure you squeeze the air out of these things. That is our hot up, hot rotted China filter. Extra beneficial bacteria, extra sponges. Here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this run for a while. I'll come back, grab some film, some footage of it and uh, show you how dirty it is, all right? Stand by. Fishy folks, we're about, three and a half hours later. You can see how much poop has the uh, the filter caught. Both of the sponges look pretty brown, especially along the bottom. Oh, sorry about that. Pretty brown, especially along the bottom. There's still quite a bit of detritus on the bottom of the tank, but I'm not overly concerned. Uh, the purpose of this filter isn't to polish the water or clean all the detritus up. It's just how do you make a cheap China filter more efficient? You know, they say this filter is rated for 60 uh, gallons. Yeah, in a lightly stocked 60 gallon tank with that's heavily planted that gets regular water changes, it probably would be okay at best. But I, I mean, this filter for a 20, a 30, um, that's probably about as high as I would go. Even a, a heavily stocked <clears throat> 20 gallon tank, I think it would be fine in. So those are my thoughts. Cheap China filter, supercharged. Uh, again, links down below in the description. And um, that's it. Have a great day. Hi, right, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you guys. Before we get started, you know the drill. You know the help if I could speak, right? <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you guys. Before we get started, you know the drill. Obliterate the notification. No, not. <sighs> By the way, if the term China filters bothers you, China filters. <laughs>